Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can view images in Arch Linux. For me there are two different ways you can view images. The first one is a lightweight solution which only works from the terminal and the second one is a bit bigger but it's graphical. The first one you need to install by typing sudo pacman dash s and then fe. This is the name of the package, fe. Press enter. Maybe you have to type your sudo password and then press enter to proceed the installation. If it's installed, you just navigate to the folder where your image is stored with CD. I'm already in my folder. If I list, I see my image. And to view it, you just type fe and then the name of the image. With tab button on your keyboard, you can complete the name of the file. For me, it's only one, so one click on the tab is enough to complete the image name. And now I have to just press enter and there's the image. To zoom in, you can press the up arrow on your keyboard, up and down arrow. And to, to zoom out, you press the down arrow. To move it around, you can use your mouse. And uh, if there are multiple images in your folder, you can scroll through them by pressing the left and right arrow. And that's already it for the fair. If you want the uh, graphical solution, we have to install it by typing sudo pacman dash s and then loop is the name. Loop, press enter, press enter again, and now it's installed. There are two different ways you can open an image with this program. First is just like with fe, you can type loop and then the image name. So for me, it's tab again. And there it is. Press enter and the image will open in this program. You can use a mouse to move around the image. And here are the buttons to zoom in and out. Or if you have a, a, if you have a mouse, you can use the scroll wheel or two fingers on the touchpad. And you can zoom in and use your mouse to move it around. For this program, you have also a function here where you can crop the image if you want to resize it. The problem is, if you open it from the terminal, if you accidentally close the terminal, the image also closes. To prevent that, you can open the program from your application launcher. For me, it's Rofi, and I can open it with this loop, and then it will open, but without any image. Then you press the big blue button, and it will ask you for a prompt where you can select. Here is my image, I can select it. I can zoom in and I can again crop the image and without terminal, without the risk of closing it accidentally. Here now you can you just close the application and that's it. Thanks for watching. This was it for this video. If it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. In the recording, I forgot to say that all the commands will be in the description.